Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. It's Market Outlook time. Let's take a look at what could happen this week on FIFA Ultimate Team post Black Friday. A lot of the market is supplied with coins. We've got new Icon SBCs that are out. A lot of upgrade SBCs. We have these players, record breakers, and best of team of the week still in packs for another day until Tuesday at 6 p.m. So the first part of this week is still going to be centered around the record breaker players and the best of team of the week and all that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about that for a bit. And also kind of keep an eye on what could be coming later this week with Team of the group stage. I know you're thinking, is it possible they do team of the group stage this week? I think it is because of just at the point where we are in the year, they kind of have to do it this next week or they're going to be, you know, kind of cutting themselves close on the foot miss promotion. So, so I do think we are going to get a promo this Friday. This Friday is also the launch of next gen. So uh, PS5, Xbox Series X will be on the next gen. Uh, I guess, I don't know how they make that switch or how they quote unquote turn it on, uh, but that is going to be coming out this Friday as well. We could have icon swaps coming this Friday. It might be a wild week on FIFA, even though we're just after Black Friday, which seemed like a really crazy time period. It still is not going to be calm and easy in a nice, you know, laid back time period, right? Because EA wants you to continue changing things in your squad and moving things around and uh, interacting with their content because that makes them coins when you lose coins or that makes them money when you lose coins from interacting and that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about that a little bit today. Uh, but first, let's take a look at what happened on Sunday last night with squad battery rewards. Now those rewards were a little bit earlier. Uh, and some of the prices are bouncing back a little bit on the market. This Vardy car was extinct at 650,000 coins. Uh, I tweeted a picture of him at 420,000 coins. Uh, 35 minutes, I think, after squad battle rewards, which is when people started listing his card because they, uh, it, it was never going to be worth that price to begin with, with, with his inform being 170k. A plus one upgrade with plus four shooting does not need to be extinct at 650. So if, if that was like an obvious read that was just way, way too overpriced, in my opinion. Now that card is back down to 450. He was at 420. Uh, and then instantly got bought back, bought back up to 470 and is now back down to 450. So he's fluctuating all over the all the place. Um, it's pretty crazy. Now, do I expect a few of these cards to rise into the morning, honestly, on Monday, Tuesday? I kind of do because I think some of these people will tr want to try out Sancho, Vardy, Fabregas. Not too sure about Van Dijk and a million coins for a center back like that. Why would you not? Why would you use a card? He got plus nine passing, but why would you not just go use Kyle Walker's inform that is right now very cheap on the market as well? Uh, but yes, some of these cards have bounced back a little bit from squad battle rewards. You might continue to see this uh, in the day on Monday because that's just what people do um, on on Mondays, Sunday nights and Mondays, they buy teams because that's when they're always been told now that it is the cheapest as people continue to get smarter and learn more about the market because trading and uh, being smart about the transfer market becomes a lot more widespread knowledge and more people get into it. One thing I do want to note for today on Monday, let's take a look at this for a second. Some people were saying to me today on the live stream uh, on Twitch that um, they were expecting lightning rounds today. Now, I looked back at last year in FIFA 20, uh, when we only had best of team of the week in packs, but last year on the Monday after Black Friday, we did not have lightning rounds last year. We had some promo packs, of course, that were out for specific times uh, in the game. Uh, but last year, of course, we ha we didn't really have a Cyber Monday, anything to do with that on foot. I think we had an SBC or something like that, um, like a player SBC, but nothing really related to the packs and the cards that were in packs, even though best of team of the weeks were in packs still. So I'm not really expecting lightning rounds today, could it happen? Of course, right? EA Sports could absolutely drop some lightning rounds today. They've been really weird with the packs. The Flash SBCs, I think, are over um, because that was only for Friday and for Sunday. Uh, but if anything comes today, I would be just expecting a refresh of promo packs in the store. So I don't know if the supply for these cards is really going to be a lot today. I think you might start see. Uh, you might start seeing people invest in some of these record breakers because. Um, yeah, after 6 p.m. UK today, if there's not a lot of supply, I do feel like you're going to see people invest in them. They are pretty rare. They weren't in packs for a very long time, especially the second set. Vardy, Fabregas, Van Dijk, Vela, like these guys were literally in packs for like two days. That's it. That's not a lot of time in packs. Um, these are going to be good cards to trade with down the line. 
Uh, but I feel like there's a possibility, since people have a lot of coins now, post Black Friday, lightning rounds, saved up packs, people made a lot of coins and stuff. There's a lot of coins that are on the market. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to try to invest those coins too. So be careful with these. Um, but basically the Black Friday stuff is kind of over. Just the lingering SBCs that we do have in the store. And you know what? EA has been dropping a player SBC every single day since Friday, I think. If I do the math correctly, we had Aguero. We have an Alessandrini and we had Memphis Depay yesterday on Sunday with a Moments SBC. And then, of course, those two flashbacks really like they've really stepped up the SBC content since Black Friday came out. Aguero is still expensive, I think. Um, but Alessandrini and Depay are accurately priced. And then, of course, some of these flash SBCs for like West Morgan and then the Bundesliga right mid yesterday were decent value. They were solid value. And of course... We've got all the upgrade packs that are out right now for people that are trying to pack these record breaker cards or best of team of the week items that are in packs. And they re-released the base icon upgrade. They re-released it with the same requirements. But since SBC fodder is more expensive, this is a point on the market right now where, um, yes, the market has a lot of coins, but a lot of people are going to be um, using those new co coins that they have had from opening packs over this last weekend to do a lot of these SBCs, but still the market as overall is richer. The market has more coins. And I do think we are gonna see some rises throughout the week this week uh, on some cards, but that is also meaning that SBC fodder is higher because there's a lot of SBCs out again with the players we just talked about and that base icon. People know how good it was last time, right? And tonight on stream, again, I opened uh, a couple of these and we got Eusebio from the first one. So these packs seem to be giving out like 25% of the time, which is a very high rate compared to some what other packs give out in FIFA. And people are doing this base icon. Now it is very expensive. And you can see here that a lot of the SBC fodder is up. So if you invested and you're happy with the profit on SBC fodder, take it is what I'm saying. Take it. There's going to be other areas to trade this week because since there are more coins out there, we should, we should see fluctuations on out of pack special cards and icons this week that will be good for quick flipping. Thursday flipping should also be pretty good this week unless EA drop us any surprises. But again, the base icon upgrade, 590,000 coins. I believe the old one was only like 515K. Um, and then of course, Aguero, where's his SBC at? This is how you can tell that the fodder is way up. Aguero's SBC right now is listed as 520,000 coins on the PlayStation to complete. On Friday, when it first came out, it was 450. So fodder is definitely up in price, um, especially um, with, you know, we might have UCL marquee matchups coming on Tuesday. Um, you know, I guess there's a small possibility for lightning rounds today. I wouldn't expect it, but I guess it's a, po a small possibility. EA usually just don't run lightning rounds on a Monday because I, I think they know that since it's not a weekend, less people are on the game. They have less success. The lightning rounds don't sell out as much, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I do expect, technically you could say, um, fodder could maybe rise a little bit more this week with more player SBCs, but again, a UCL marquee matchups. And if they do release any more tradable pack supply SBCs, um, that could drop it a little bit as well. So if you have fodder, consider it a time where you might be taking the coins on that this week, as we head into possibly another promotion on the weekend where last week there or last year, sorry, the pack weight was incredible on the new promo cards. And it really started to crash the market into December. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But again, for the early two days of this week, Monday, Tuesday, it's still all about Black Friday and the cards that are in packs. These upgrades are out still for a little while. I might have to do this double 83, although I've seen nobody pack anything good from them. And then these Serie A, Premier League, all the league upgrades are out for three more days. So they're out a little bit past Black Friday. And this is going to give you an opportunity. And this is one thing I want to talk about right here. If you're somebody who wants to stack upgrade packs for team of the year which is coming up in about just over a month i know it seems crazy but team of the year is a little bit over a month away if you're going to stack upgrade packs whether it's 81 pluses general 81 pluses or the league specific upgrades now these should be the same upgrades that come out of team of the year so i'm not going to be stacking packs but if you're somebody who's trying to build hundreds upon hundreds or maybe even thousands of packs and you want to start now and start that, you know, that count, start growing that count of packs as some people when they start the month of December start doing. This is an opportunity to do that if you do if you do want to do so. Um, 
Is it the most efficient way of doing things? No, but if your goal is to have a huge pack opening uh, at team of the year, then go for it. Uh, because I do think the rare golds will drop down once those special items go out of packs and these SBCs are still around. So that's something to kind of think about uh, this week as well. Let's move on to Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. And with that, we have to talk about UCL, right? We already have road to the final cards on the market that are rising because people are investing in them for the upcoming games this week, just because there's hype around them. No cards are getting upgraded this week, but some cards might be getting confirmed upgrades based on the group standings, how many points the teams have. Of course, Bayern and I think Barcelona are two teams that I know that are guaranteed to technically get that upgrade. They're going to be going on to the knockout round, so they are going to be getting an upgrade of the road of the final cards. So just keep an eye on some of these teams. Group D is one that I'm really closely watching with Ajax and Atalanta, depending on who gets in. But this group really is going to come down to the wire most likely, and it's going to be on match day six when we figure out who gets in. But a lot of teams that are in here that are on the bubble right? Let's say I'm trying to look for a team that's in third place, Leipzig, right? Leipzig, I always forget who, who plays this week. Who is Leipzig playing this week? They play on Wednesday, I believe. Uh, Wednesday, Leipzig is playing against uh, Basakir. So they're playing the low team. I, I butchered that name. My apologies. But it is PSG and Man U playing on, on Wednesday with Leipzig playing the other team in the group. So if we go back to group H, Leipzig is looking favorable to po possibly jump back up uh, into the spread here. It could be it could be three teams tied in Group H on um, on nine points. If PSG do beat Man U and Leipzig beat Istanbul, it's going to be three teams on nine points, and that's going to make these road to the final cards very very interesting. So like a guy like Draxler, I'd be watching him this week, and a card like Klosterman, I'd be keeping my eyes on as well. Even like Rashford, right? Definitely keep an eye on those cards this week, depending on if they do win or lose. Of course, if Man U beat PSG, that Rashford card might go up a little bit during the game, but then will probably fall afterwards. Um, a lot of people have not been have been investing in Draxler because they think that he's going to go up because PSG is going to beat Man U. So just watch this, a lot of these games this week. In all honesty, for most of these games, I honestly expect a lot of these Road to the Final items to drop after the game. Because it seems like this is what happened last week. People invested in them for UCL. And literally, no matter if the team won or lost, people ended up selling these cards after the game. Now, these cards are already kind of starting to rise. Jesus is down a little bit. Hazard's down in the league. Sissoko is way up. Koulibaly is way up. Akanji is up. Promise is starting to rise again. Just keep an eye on these road to the finals. And some of the team one cards, Alfonso Davies was 530K today. He's 560. Griezmann is up a little bit. Rashford's up over a mil. This guy's up like 20K. Muriel is 80,000 coins. He was 50K. Just watch some of these cards as they rise up this week. It might be an opportunity time to sell them uh, around the Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe before they do play their games. Uh, unless they're looking like they're in a space where, like Muriel last week, Atalanta moved into a very favorable f position in their group, um, beating Liverpool. And now it's like, hey, this card was cheap before because we didn't think it was going to get upgraded, maybe until going into Europa League. But hey, now they have a shot and he might get another upgrade, go to an 84 in December. So these upgrades are going to be happening after game, after match day six, which is not four. Uh, match day six is on December 8th and 9th. So we probably won't see these upgrades until December 10th or in the late, yeah, probably December 10th or 11th for Road to the Final upgrades. We won't actually see those upgrades then. But now um, it's going to be kind of crunch time with these cards, especially over the next week or so. Since we do have these games now at the very beginning of December this week, if there is panic selling after this, it's really going to be the time that if you think it's a card that's going to get upgraded, that's going to be the time to buy it because there will be a lot of hype next week for the actual upgrade that will come at the end of the week next week. So that's kind of the stuff about Road to the Finals. The rest of the out-of-pack special cards in this, in this game... Um, I do think you're going to see a rebound this week. Again, the market is very healthy for icons and for these cards right here. I do expect to see a bounce back, people to be buying teams, to be trying cards. This Royce was 470, 480 on the weekend. He's 440 right now. Uh, one of my favorite cards this week was, um, or a possible flip, was this Yorente. He's already up. He was 230K. He's 247. He's already started to rise. I bought a Laporte at 509 earlier today. 
This nine Golan was in the 370s. Mertens was under 500. So a lot of these cards after squad battles have kind of bounced back up a little bit. Um, Zaha was like low 200s. He's still kind of there. Joe Gomez was 420. He was 460 on the weekend. So just kind of watch these fluctuations on the rare out-of-pack special cards. One guy to watch out for is Felix because he might be getting a player of the month pretty soon. So don't go like investing in that card really crazy. Just, just be careful with that. And then just kind of remember when you're looking to trade with cards this week, remember what cards and what teams people are building right now because of the SBCs that have come out. Of course, like everybody is doing this Alessandrini. A lot of French links are going to be big. A lot of Brazilian links are going to be big as well uh, as we've seen like the Oscar card that has come into the game. A lot of Brazilians in the game already that are that link to each other. Um, and with the Rodrigo objective, that's one thing that is bringing a lot of Brazilian hype to the game at the moment. So that's something to kind of watch out for as well. And I, I think it's going to be a great week to trade with icons and, um, you know, especially with icons, with how high the market is. Like, I'm watching this Ian Wright card because I kind of want to try him for my last few games a week in league tonight. Uh, he's English. He links to my team. And, you know, he's uh, he's a pretty hyped up card. He's got the pace, right? Watch low tier icons like this that have good stats, even to the high tier icons. Like, we were watching on stream today. Um, Mid Petite went from 1.15 mil today all the way down to um almost a mil flat now what is he at right now i'm pretty sure he's back up to like one one wow he's low again one of my friends tonight he's 1.02 this dude literally bought petite at one mil and then sold him at one one two i believe is what he told me so this card is back down again on a fluctuation a french icon with good links makalele would be another one that i would look to trade with this week um the middle now or even the baby to be honest with you like this card at like th under 400k I believe 355. Wow. All right. So this guy is definitely on 340. He was pretty high this weekend. Um, I know that partly that um, the um, Alessandrini card hurts that item a little bit because of the position change. I was thinking more originally of the 87. So just watch the French icons and the Brazilian icons this week too. 820 seems pretty cheap. Is that, uh, is that like too cheap? I don't have any, enough coins to buy it, but that looks like a pretty... Pretty saucy undercut there on the mid Makalele. So that's a pretty low price. But last thing I want to talk about, I don't want to drag on this video too long, but um, I'm actually just going to message one of my friends about that Makalele really fast because I think that's a good deal. But um, I want to talk about last year, what we saw the week after Black Friday, and that was team of the group stage. Now, this is a screenshot or one of my videos from last year. EA tweeted this on Thursday. Now, Thursday flipping last year on the week after Black Friday was great. I think it's going to be good this, this week too. And if, again, going back to the point I made at the beginning of the video, I think Team of the Group Sage is going to be this Friday. Um, and just to give a quick overview of how that could impact the game is we just got done with a huge Black Friday promo where a lot of people opened packs, spent money, got new record breaker cards, right? Last year, they dropped this Team of the Group Stage uh, squad. And the thing that really, like when we look at a lot of graphs from last year, right? This is uh, Varan from FIFA 20. You see the Black Friday drop, right? And then boom, Black Friday happens. He rises back up for one week. And then boom, Friday, December 6th, team of the group stage hit. And he goes back down. And this just starts the decline overall into, into team of the year with team of the group stage happening, foot miss happening, team of the year nominees, and all of that just dropping, dropping, dropping a lot of the cards in this game. There were so many special cards last year. They came out in December, uh, and that's one thing I want to be careful of this year. But the reason why this promo was big last year is because of the pack weight on the cards. I specifically remember a 125,000 coin lightning round that happened on the weekend when Team of the Group Stage came out. These guys had a drop rate of 12% for a Team of the Group Stage item. I'm going to have to sort out and find a screenshot of that. Because I remember the pack weight on these cards was unreal. And that's why you see a lot of grass when you're looking and doing some research about FIFA 20 cards. You see a huge drop off right after Black Friday with a lot of these guys. The week after, Veron went from 224 down to 193. Not a huge drop off. But if you look across the other cards that are maybe not as meta as well, past informs, stuff like that. People sold a lot of cards last year after Black Friday because of that pack weight on Team of the Group stage. So we'll talk more about that this week and if we do think that promo is coming because I know the timing is way different this year um, for the Team of the Group stage um, and what's going on, of course, with that schedule 
or not team of the group stage, but you know, UCL and a schedule and stuff like that. So that is something that I do see as a possibility of coming this week. But again, as I mentioned, we'll talk about that a little bit more later on in the week. Nothing to be scared of yet. For the next couple of days, I do expect people to be investing in these record breakers. So honestly, if you get in early enough, it might be a shout where uh, you can actually buy before people invest. They invest, the card goes up because people are buying it and investing in it, and it gets, un it gets artificially inflated, and you sell to those guys that are investing in the card because the market doesn't want the card, but the investors want the market to rise and they think it's gonna rise. That's a, a way this year that uh, we've seen the market move and a lot of things have moved on the market artificially because of people investing in cards. Just like that Jamie Vardy market movement today, in my opinion, was a bit artificial. So, um, you know, with all the people that were trying to make that card and keep that card extinct for a long time, just seemed a bit, uh, not fishy, but it just didn't seem 100% right to me. So definitely watching some of these Fabregas cards right now. Some of the, the VVD is dropping a lot with the, the supply. And of course, it's getting late night um, UK time as I'm recording this. So when you guys see this in the morning, take a look at these cards. They could be due for a little bit of a bounce back up into Monday. Uh, we'll definitely be watching that. I kind of like this Fabregas because a lot of a League One hype is out there right now. A lot of people have done like the Bamba SBC. Some people have at least. You've got uh, Neymar and Mbappe, of course, Renato Sanchez, a lot of French links, you know, Ben Yedder links to this Fabregas card too. So League One has been a very hyped up league so far this year. So I'll quit talking years off. This is a long video for a Monday, but that's the market outlook for this week, boys. Be ready to trade this week. Quick flips should be very profitable on golds, on icons and out-of-pack specials, those latter two ones specifically with more coins in this market. People are going to be more apt to try cards and to do stuff on this game so if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out